Let's talk about how to adjust an automated test to make it run fast and reliable. When we execute a test scenario manually, it is easy to determine if a UI element is displayed on screen. We can wait for an element to appear as long as needed. We understand when the element is ready for interaction. We can even repeat some actions, for example, click a button a few times to get the expected result. Executing test scenarios manually is usually reliable but slow. Let's now turn to automated tests. You may notice that just after recording, an automated test execution may fail. There are a few reasons for this related to application responsiveness and default test execution settings. Speed of downloading resources and executing AJAX requests depends on server load and network bandwidths. A test may not wait long enough for a specific element to appear on screen. When a page is loaded, it may take time for client-side JavaScript code to initialize all the elements. A test may be too fast and interact with an element when it is not ready. So, playback of an automated test is faster than manual but may be flaky. We get two main failure reasons for an automated test. Timeout waiting for an element to appear on screen. Too fast execution, an element is not ready for interaction. You may control execution in rupees by changing these settings. Interval between test actions. Interval between attempts to find an element on screen. Number of such attempts. Presented numbers are default ones for web tests. What do these numbers mean? If an element the test expects is not found on the page in 9 seconds, test execution is interrupted. If an element is present on the page but is not ready for interaction in 1 second after previous test step, current test step may not have desired effect. For example, Click on an element may not work. You may change default values, but there may be undesired effects. More attempts to find an element may increase execution time in cases when an application under test behaves incorrectly. After all, too slow response from an application is also a problem. Increasing interval between test steps may significantly reduce execution speed. But everyone wants automated tests to run fast. To not affect execution speed too much with changing global settings that are applied to every element and every test step, in rupees you may control execution explicitly at certain steps. To do more attempts than usual to locate an element on the page, use global do wait for. You may use increased timeouts at specific steps in your test. To increase the interval between certain test steps, use global do sleep. It is a fixed time wait. To click on an element until another element appears, use navigator do click until on screen. To click on an element while it is on screen, use navigator do click while on screen. When a test is configured and adjusted properly, one may reduce command interval to as low as 100 milliseconds and get fast and reliable execution. The description of this video contains links to repeat documentation. Click them to get more information about global do wait for, global do sleep, Navigator do click until on screen. Navigator do click while on screen. You may need to use these actions at a few places in your test. It will allow you to increase test execution speed and will make test execution stable. Now you know how to make repeat tests fast and reliable.